Hey, welcome back to Vice Grip Lodge. Big day here. We got all the building materials showing up. We're drilling holes, getting ready to put posts in. We're gonna start framing. Getting holes punched. These will be 10 foot on center. So there's 10, 20, 30, 40, He's on the 50 right there. One more after that. It's gonna be tight in here. These are the posts going in here. These are green treated, which is what a guy should be doing. And the old part, if you remember, we've got this two by six stack. This is gonna be a much better way to go. A little soggy yet. Look at these bad boys. We're able to get the same trusses as the old side. These are going to be slightly different though because we're going to be putting 2x6s in here instead of 2x4s and I'll show you that here in a minute. Here's that same bubble wrap insulation type stuff. Again, I'm kind of going for the same look on the inside. So as you walk through the building, it's going to look the same going down. Here's all the tin, Summertown Metals. I got that stacked up. There's all the two by sixes. And then we got our posts sitting over there on the other side. I got the back holes drilled so far. Right now they're running tapes. Getting set up for all the doors and everything that are going in here. We got three 14 foot doors going in. So beep, bop, boop, boop, boop. Let's see, that'd be four and a half foot, 14, four and a half foot, 14, four and a half foot, 14, four and a half foot corner post. And then down there where that feller standing is going to be a man door shooting out that way and then we're going to have some winders in the back reusing these winders down here on the gable end and so forth but a little bit sticky but these guys are fighting through it i guess codes have changed quite a bit since this last building was put up after the posts get set they have to be inspected before any more building can go on so they're just trying to jam these posts in quick get them concrete to get those set so we can get them inspected and get the framing but I'm going to show you the inside trusses here the difference that we're going to have on the inside it's not big but one could maybe catch it with the peeper so again here's so same steel trusses and I get this question a lot because you just got these little two by four purlins or stringers or whatever you want to call them up there well that code has changed since this building went up 14 years ago so I guess the state has started to recognize some sort of snow load or, I don't know, something changed. We can no longer use two by four if we're going to be doing additions or new buildings. We have to use two by sixes, which is great for the stability of the structure and whatnot. Not so great for the billfold, but that's just the way it is. But being that we're going two by six, we need to lower the new trusses down two inches. So here's what's gonna happen. This wall here is gonna get removed once they get the posts in and get those strung up. But the next one of these that goes in, one of these trusses, is gonna be two inches down. And then they're all gonna be two inches down across. So that's really the only difference unless you're really gonna be staring up here and notice it's a two by four versus a two by six from that point forward. But structurally, it's gonna have a very similar look still. Just the green treated big posts instead of these homemade two by six jobbers. I gotta get the GOAT out of here, the GT0 and the Buick and start cleaning up this wall back here. I don't want anything to happen, any of that stuff. It's gonna get tight in here for a bit. there. 
this same group of folks is going to be doing all the tin work as well, which is great because they could just stay on site and get some work done. This door is also shot. The frame is falling through. I might go to Home Depot or something, see if I could find a cheap one or maybe they could throw one in for me, but got to get that replaced as well. Looks like all of the holes are dug here so we can finally get a little bit of a visual of what's going on. And basically door there, door here, and another door there. Guys ran off to lunch really quick. When they get back, they're going to start measuring, standing up some posts, getting those tied in, and concreting. And they're also starting to uh, shed some tin over here so they can tie into the building correctly. I got to get moving on getting some of the cars and stuff out of the way. So they're starting to lay these out, get them bolted together. They're actually really light and probably why they're so affordable, but it'll go up super fast. And basically they just hang these off the posts, leg them in and up they go. Well, that's it for today. They got all the trusses assembled. We got a couple more pieces dropped off here. They were uh, in paint drying. Look, they're here now. They got most of the holes dug, but unfortunately, they started to hit quite a bit of rock. If you remember just recently when they were excavating this, they were getting in there. I heard the teeth of banging out here. This was one of our big concerns was hitting some pretty big rock out here. You can see all the rock coming out of that hole. Quite a bit here as well. And then they were fighting over here. Especially in this guy. Oof da. Oh, that one's even worse. They're not done with this one yet. So I have to get that jackhammer in there. Luckily we had a warmer day, so it started drying up. And tomorrow, if all goes well, we'll be dropping poles and mixing some concrete. Got some concrete down in the holes this morning. Starting to dry up, thankfully. Still waiting on the inspector, but they've got some doozies over here. Was a little bit worried about it on this side, but they're getting through it, little by little. This is gonna be the corner of the building here. Be a man door right there. Once they get this done while they're waiting for the inspector, I guess they're gonna go ahead and take the tin off the gable end there, get that set aside and uh, get ready to get these posts put in and tie it in because they're going to roof it all at once. So.
How tall are those? 20 foot. 20 footers? Yeah, they're up there. They're 20 foot long, but they're in the three foot in the ground. So we're going with those instead of those stacked two by sixes, which I still don't understand that. But these guys are rocking and rolling on this. Seven of them already in up front. Getting a better and better glimpse of what it's going to look like, fellas. Again, door there, door there, another door there. Should give us plenty of room for storage on this side. It's pretty much all it's going to be. Just park some cars in here, free up the other side so we can, you know, can a guy just get to work? And then we got just enough room over here, you know, hide more stuff, parts, tools, motorcycles. Be a man door right here. Didn't put any man doors in the back. You know, maybe someday, I'm just trying to save money right now. There really should be two or three on the back, maybe even for fire exits and stuff like that. But ain't got them right now. It'd be nice to have one on each corner, you know, or one in the center because the guy wants to go all back. You got to go all the way over here, all the way over to the other side and then walk all the way around, you know, but that's just the way she goes. <laughs> Most of the posts are in here. I think we're still waiting on the inspector for a couple posts on the end there. They were in rock, didn't have them quite the depth yet, but they're starting to clean up the site a little bit. Jessica's over here grinding sand in a way. We got a bunch of projects going on at the garage. It's coming along pretty good. Boy, it did warm up. And that was a blessing because it dried this out. This was an absolute mud pit earlier, so. Not supposed to rain for about four to five days, but should be a blessing. These guys are starting to take the gable end off so we can start tying this thing in. And the hope is in three days they'll have the roof done because this is gonna all be exposed now and I got lots of parts and cardboard boxes and things like that. And I got my dad's car up on that lift over there and then my, my boy's little area, Little Grip Garage is over in that corner and he's got a bunch of stuff. I'll probably have them move it. It's tools and things like that, but no big deal. Just kind of part of the process. All that gravel that I brought in here is gone. Just sunk through right into the mud. For a spot of daylight, tin's coming off. Actually, they got like six or seven panels off, but the insulation's still holding up. They're slowly peeling it off. Again, we're gonna to try to reuse all of this we can, including these windows. There ain't nothing wrong with the windows or anything like that, um, but they need to tie in. So you can hear them shoveling out here. Uh, they gotta use this as a reference for when they're putting basically the same kind of, I don't know what you call them, stringers, support bars, things. 
across here, but yeah, you can see here. There ain't no metals. Big progress on the shop this morning. Something is a little bit different around here. Yeah, I ain't got snow wall. Part of the roof is gone. I'll go show you this. We found some pretty bad water damage. And right now they're setting the headers up for the doors and starting to tie in over here. They found some pretty bad water damage up here in this corner. It was leaking really bad. These are just hollow. They made their own posts. We're just gonna pull them out with the skid steer. Look at this. Didn't do their trim right around the window. Just completely rotten through here. But I got a bunch of stuff to move so they can finish getting this out. Bunch of coolant and this is my boy's little area where he does his go-karts and motorcycles and RC cars and whatnot. But and then after lunch they're gonna start setting up trusses coming together. Setting the first new truss. these up today I'm pretty sure and it's really gonna start looking like a structure boy they seem so tall without tin on it but once we get tin on here it's not gonna be that tall feeling anyway Got our first big change order here fellas and it's the color of the tin on the roof and i'm going to try to keep this story shortened up if i can but 
I already had figured into my quote of this building extension to go up and take out all of the screws and replace all of the screws, plus take off some of the tin and replace the insulation that's falling down and getting into the fans and blowing into a thousand pieces everywhere in here. And ran the pencil on it and then we were really close to just getting new tin on the front side of the building so that way the tin color matched when you're looking at the building because as it would stand we'd have old like salmon pinkish color tin on one side then bright brand new red tin on the other side and it would just not look very good it's only kind of an aesthetic thing so i called summertown they ran some numbers for me the guy that i'm working with there is awesome and he said, well, here's how much it would be the tin to front. And I said, well, let's just go ahead and do that. It'll fix all the leaks. We're already up there touching it anyway. And then the brain fired up. Well, wait a minute. I'm really close to just changing the color of the entire roof if I wanted to, if I just replaced the backside. So I called Summertown again and said, run me another number, just putting an all new color on it. Well, here's the kicker. They already had custom cut all of the metal for the roof, uh, but they pulled it off. They called me back. 20 minutes later and said, look, we can do it. We got another job. We could probably send another metal to pick your color. So now I'm getting the color that I wanted, which is a dark brown, entire new roof on the old and new structure. Everything's going to match. Plus we get rid of all of the leaks. I'm not going to have to push a mop bucket around here every morning, which <laughs> really looking forward to that. Yes, it's a change order. Yes, it's another expense, but we were so close to that expense anyway with just farting around replacing screws and insulation. Feeling pretty good about it, and then I can get rid of this obnoxious color because even if I built this whole building brand new, I would not do a red roof. I'd probably be black, gray, or copper or something like that. But uh, we're going to do dark brown, and it's just going to match the other buildings on the property and everything like that. So interesting to see what that's going to turn out like. With all the trusses up and the doors in now, really starting to get kind of an image of what the whole building is going to look like. We'll lock that in once we get that end put in. I think they're leaving that open right now to bring material in and out. Could be wrong, probably. They absolutely nailed the door heights. As you can see, it's just, we're just keeping the theme with these same doors, 14 by 14 down. How they do that with the grade, and then you got to take into consideration concrete, and the I don't know but they nailed it looks fantastic right now they're cooking on this back wall and it is going up quick and i ain't kidding well, here's a look at the brown for the roof and that is much better color than that salmon faded pink stuff that's up there so they're going to uh work hard to get this part of the roof done today and put the old pieces up here for now. It's getting breezy. There's a storm headed in and it's gonna rain, fixing the rain here pretty soon. That way all this stuff at least stays dry for me until they can get back next week and then slam out the rest of this over here. Guys are hauling on the gable end today. Basically done. We are gonna have a man door down there on the end and a winder. We're reusing a winder down there. And then we're going to have one over here as well. And then a future project coming up when we do the concrete is we're going to have actually a tornado shelter going in right here. Some might use them as a safe room or even a safe. But uh, that'll be basically this whole corner over here. And I'll bring you guys through that whole process as well. And then we've got windows up here that need to go in. In between each, I guess every row here, uh, they're going to be three foot by five foot so horizontal and that's just to bring some natural light in you see back here up over the Buick it gets pretty dark up in there and if I could just keep this side lit most of the day without running electricity hey probably pay for them windows after a couple years right Look how bright it is in here because guys got their old roof off so their goal today is to Get the uh, new brown tin, actually the whole new roof, all the way down. Try to get that done today. And I'm having them pull out some of the rotten stringers that are in here. You can see this is from that, those leaks up there. Some of these were really bad. Look at this. So we'll get that patched up. 
Here's all the old bubble wrap insulation. And we're gonna go ahead and put new up. All those leaks, it's just delaminating and coming apart and it's really not doing much. So might as well go ahead and get that done as well. But it'd be nice to have the roof on this thing today. It'd be all pretty well sealed up besides the doors and then what they can't get done back here. Still need to cut in the other windows, but. Tim going up on the front half, going pretty quick. Roof is almost done. They just got this stretch right here. All the insulation is in all the way across. Looks so much better. Got some rock coming in. That's the third truck and should be all the rock we need hopefully. As far as the front goes, you can see these 14 foot doors match all the way down. Really debated on even putting this many doors in as this side's gonna be more for storage. But just the ease and convenience if I'm gonna have lifts or anything in here, not having to shuffle stuff around so much to get things in and out. So this just seemed to make sense. We're gonna have a little bit of room over here, small pad for the exit door, and the concrete's gonna come over like this, over on this edge. Big project coming up is getting this off without hitting my pop's car. And we gotta figure out how to get them out of the ground there. I think they're just gonna pull right out they are pretty rotted, I'm gonna be honest. So, spoke to the electrician today. We're gonna to be doing a walkthrough soon. I'll try to get you guys in on that. Uh, if you've got ideas for electrical, plumbing, air plumbing, fans, lighting, whatever, bleep bloop them down in the comments there. Just please keep in mind, I'm trying to keep the cost on this as low as possible. So, you know, if you're like, hey, put one of those 17 foot big fans in yeah they're like nine grand be nice but it ain't gonna happen you know what i mean can we go to menards and get a couple house fans is what i'm saying it's been a very busy couple days but as you can see the framing and metal is pretty well wrapped up we're waiting on some windows back here unfortunately however many more one two three four then we could finish up the back wall. But as you can see by the standing water back here, we've been fighting the weather. So the rest of the tin and the windows, we're gonna put that on hold and we're gonna be moving into concrete very shortly here and some dirt work. We've got some more drainage to take care of. We see how the water is flowing now. We were able to assess that and make some changes. But let's take a look at what we got going on and I'm gonna add a little porch onto this. I don't know if I, I don't know if I told you that yet. Check this out. So a little porch area, we're gonna put some rock or some brick or something, kind of a Wayne's coat around there. And it's just a place that we can hang out, sip on some tea, lemonade or whatever you're supposed to drink when it's warm out, I guess. It just kind of relax from time to time. I don't do enough of that anymore, and I just, I gotta get back to it here and who. It also adds a little bit of feature to the building, so it doesn't look like a farm or ranch machine shop, which is basically what this is. It gives it a little bit more of a commercial building, office type feel, even though we're not going to be spending the money to frame out offices or anything fancy on the inside. There's no restroom or nothing in this, but it, you know, it just gives it a little bling for not a lot of bang. No, I don't know the whatever's hip. Insert that kind of saying over that. But again, stay tuned. We have concrete coming and a lot of it. Not only do we have the floor to pour back here, but we've got about a 42 by 165 pad out front that's got to go on. And I have a few other surprises while the trucks are here. We're going to be making some other pours and they're going to be pretty darn cool. Thanks guys for watching. Appreciate it very much. And hey, listen, listen up. Thank you so much for the support 
and subscribing and watching and commenting and interacting. Again, we could not do this without you, so thank you very much. We'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.